So when you come back to your pitch, it's always good to have a plan in place and then think about what you're going to do, what your next steps are going to be. So I was looking at the picture uh, just kind of before I started and I was looking down in this left hand side the perspective lines and the path. So I want to actually have it coming round a wee bit so you get more of a feeling of depth. And then on the right hand side I will clean up the lines, get a wee bit more paint on the canvas, certainly a lot more paint on the canvas, build up the layers. So I'll just get started folks. So doing a wee bit of line work first, just doing a wee bit more of a sketch, so getting a scattered line here, lost some friends, so got more of a strip in the path, I think that will help with the actual composition, so not in the original photograph as you've seen the other day there, just getting some coverage in that line, I think that will work out a bit better, and then I'll do some more work in this middle ground. Looking at the detail. Revise the sketch, put a bit more detail in the, the sketch itself. Um, a few more lines, certainly talking about getting that curvature in the path again and defining the line and the cliff edge and then you can see some cliffs coming in in the distance there. So today it's going to be a more fluid session. Uh, what I will do is I'll stop at the key moments um, but you'll see, see the picture build up with a lot more colours coming in a lot more bright, vibrant colours coming in. So, of course, what you can do at any time at all as well, you can actually pause the video and then just have a wee look at the painting itself. Okay, folks, so I'll leave you to it and we'll get started. Thank you. the picture again with a lot more vibrant colours. You can see the uh, yellow coming through the cad yellow, a purple, burnt sienna, indigo coming through all in the foreground just to make it a bit more stronger. Certainly getting the layer of paint a lot thicker as well from the, the underpainting I call it. Um, I think I might do something with the sky as well so I'll continue with the process. What I will say is just make sure that you get all that nice creamy paint working together on the canvas.
just going to pause for a wee second folks, just to have a wee quick look at the picture from a distance. Um, you'll see if, while I was painting there, there was a few splashes went down onto the bottom of the picture. Not too worried about that, we'll get that sorted later on. Okay, so just going to pause for just now. So before I go back to doing the land, what I'll do is I'll do a bit more detail on the sky. So just come in with the white, step down the brush. Just got this nice new flat brush. I love, love using the flat brush, flat brushes. with the sky, I'm going to work in this wee bit here, brush strokes are just a wee bit too loose and that'll be me I think for just now on the sky. So that's me finish the sky for just now, I'm going to just go and work on the sea next. I've done the sky again, I've blocked in the sea and I've revised the foreground, okay, so that's me for today I think. Um, I will come back to the canvas again and we'll do the, the final stage where we just finish the picture off, okay. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again. Thank you.